Okay, so it is Sunday night, the night before my challenge to eat like JLo for an entire week. I'm getting ready to go downstairs and do a little bit of meal prepping. Like I just wanna have things like readily available so that way I make healthy choices, but I'm so nervous. Come on, let's just go and do some meal prepping really quickly so we can get on with this week. So hopefully you guys watched last week's meal prep with me video and if you didn't I'll have that linked up in the cards for you as well as down below in the description box but this is basically a quick snapshot of some of the things that I prepped for myself in order to get ready for the week. It's basically a ton of veggies and proteins but definitely go and check that video out so you can get a more detailed account of everything that I made to get ready for this diet. like how it is 5 10 a.m. Let me show you. 5 10 I am freaking tired, but JLo does not drink coffee, so she starts her day with warm lemon water. So I sliced up some lemon slices last night, so let's get that. So JLo does fasted cardio in the morning and I have my elliptical so I'm going to go outside for a run as soon as I'm done with this water. It's 5.15 right now. I have to like start getting ready for work no later than 6 so I have like a good 30 minutes and the baby just woke up so I'm going to give him a bottle, drink this, go for a run and hope I survive. <laughs> Okay, so I made it through 25 minutes on the treadmill and I did 1.75 miles. Like, I was pretty tired, but I'm surprised that I like stuck with it, but there were definitely more times where I walked rather than run because I didn't start off with my pre-workout. So yeah, I'm gonna go shower and then I'll show you guys what JLo typically has for breakfast and yeah. Okay, so JLo always starts her day with a protein smoothie, or that's like her average breakfast, and it says that she does um, a few cups of berries. I just have this uh, frozen blueberries, strawberries, and mango chunks that I need to use up, so I'm going to use about a cup of that. I'm going to use this entire cup of Greek yogurt because this is what she does, but I'm doing the Too Good yogurt because I love this stuff, you guys know. I'm going to do, um, she does two tablespoons of honey, so I'll add that. She does a tablespoon, I believe, of lemon juice and she does uh, her protein powder. She uses Body Lab, but I use Shakeology, and this is in the vanilla flavor, so I'm going to whip that up. literally tastes like ice cream so good okay so it is day one right now and the time right now is 4 45 and honestly I did really well today as far as like cravings go I didn't have too many but I am so so tired this is the first time that I have gone without any coffee or like pre-workout or caffeine or anything and I don't even know how long you guys so I think the hardest thing about this diet for me is going to be the no caffeine like 
your girl is struggling to stay awake and it's not even five o'clock and I still have to get through dinner and bedtime and that hustle and I've got a lot of stuff that I need to do tonight after the kids go to sleep so it's just like ooh. but um, um, let me show you what we're making for dinner tonight so I just have some chicken breast here that I seasoned with salt pepper garlic powder um, some Italian seasoning and then I have some sweet potatoes going down there and I've got some broccoli up here and that is going to be what I'm eating and then Taylor's just gonna have some rice with his so inadvertently my family's gonna kind of go through this diet with me except I'm going to incorporate like more carbohydrates in their diet and they're not going to be as strict with like their snack items and stuff but Pretty much I'm trying to find meals that I can feed not only myself and be within the diet, but also feed my family. It's just more healthy overall for everyone. So that is something that I am super excited about. Everybody is going to be eating pretty much the same kind of food. I'll just add in like different starches for them. So yeah. Day two. Um, I woke up with a huge headache today. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because of the lack of caffeine or what, but I was supposed to wake up at 5 a.m. I slept in an extra hour because I woke up with a pounding headache, but I got up and I got in a mile and a half run. And I think I'm gonna do a few more little exercises here before my kids wake up. And yeah, today I don't have work, so we'll see how hard the diet is now that I actually have like a free day here in my house. But I did get rid of all my sweets and stuff, so wish me luck, you guys. All right, so it's Wednesday, day three, and today was hard, like, hard hard af um i had a major caffeine headache withdrawal something going on again had to take ibuprofen and i am just it's it's 8 30 right now so like i am just craving something so sweet so i already had my sugar-free chocolate pudding today but i am gonna have a sugar-free chocolate popsicle because JLo did indulge and say that to curb sweets cravings, her and A-Rod sometimes have sugar-free like popsicles, jellos, and puddings and stuff like that. So I am gonna have one of those right now. And that's it. I finished eating my dinner at like 6:30, which is when JLo typically likes to have her meals stop. But I am gonna have just a snack right now, guys, because I I seriously have not cheated this entire time, but it has been really hard. Like I've had to have a super strong willpower, but I did hop on the scale today and so far I was down two pounds. So that is a praise report, yes. And I look forward to the rest of the week and I'll give you guys more updated, like um, detailed what I'm eating throughout the day kind of vibes. I've mostly been eating the same thing just to keep it easy on myself, but tomorrow I'll get more creative. So this day turned out to be super busy, which as you know, where I work, it's really hard to film. So I thought I would show you guys some of the snacks that I typically bring with me. I really love pickles this week. That is like a huge thing I'm snacking on. These hard boiled eggs, which I prepared in my meal prep for the week, have been an awesome protein filled snack that I love to grab. And I just put salt and pepper in the bag so that it's already tasty and I can just pull it out and eat it. And of course, vegetables. You cannot go wrong. I've got all different kinds of vegetables that I snack on all throughout the day here whenever I'm feeling a little hungry. And eat your veggies and eat your colors, you guys. Can't stress that enough. I do have a little bit of pepperoni here and this is really for when I'm in a pinch and I'm really just craving it, but it is processed, so it's technically not allowed on this diet. But we're gonna skip over that and go right into the strawberries, which are allowed, and I love these. And then for breakfast, I've been eating these egg bites, which I prepared in the last video. If you guys want recipes, again, go and check that out so you can see how I make these. Okay, so I have been really good, but I just opened up this package that I got from Lolly's Cookie Clusters, and it is low-carb, keto-friendly, 
gluten-free, soy-free granola, and they've got so many good flavors, gingerbread, mocha cappuccino, peanut butter macadamia is my favorite. I've actually gotten this before and I love it. Lemon drop and cinnamon pecan, and these are amazing. You can use them as a topping granola or you can like bake them as like cookies or pie crust or make different kind of desserts and stuff like that. Um, they're made by hand, which I really like, down in Atlanta. And I know that JLo would not eat anything probably, I don't know, processed. I don't know if you would consider this processed or not, but I have to try some of this, like, right now. I have to. Giving you guys pre-warning. So we are on day four right now, and to be honest with you guys, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Like yesterday was really hard because I was so tired, and I've been having like this weird back pain. I don't know if it's because I've been like really limiting like carbs or I don't even know if the two are related because I've been working out maybe, like my back is strained. I've just been having like really bad pain in my lower back, and it's been like hard to sleep at night, and then the headaches, Ha yesterday was the worst like I haven't had a headache at all today I've been feeling really good I checked on the scale this morning and I was down like four pounds which is amazing because I was like not able to lose weight like I I um, was struggling with like actually losing pounds so that is good but I'm gonna try let's try the mocha cappuccino one because that one sounds good so there's four grams of carbs in here but there's three grams of fiber so only one gram of net carb there's 16 grams of fat, and there's 170 calories per serving, but there's eight servings in this bag, so let's see, I'm gonna open it here. Oh my God. This is so good. I have like, I feel like I could make like keto cookies or something with this. So there's hazelnuts, almond flour, erythritol, stevia blend, olive oil, um, sweet cream butter, salt, cacao powder, Colombian coffee. Oh my gosh, there's caffeine. No. Okay, I just took one bite. I just had to try it. Let's try um, the peanut butter macadamia one because I already know this one's bomb. But I want to try it anyway, so I'm going to open it. eat this entire bag right now but i'm gonna put it away because this is dangerous okay dangerous so freaking good oh i love this i love this so much i'll have this link down below um in my bio make sure you use the code Brittany so that you can get 10 percent off your order seriously y'all need to try this okay but back to the regular scheduled program because i know that j-lo she says that she does indulge in a treat and I have been so strict all week. I have not cheated not one time and I can honestly say that I have been like solid. So if JLo can have, give herself a treat, then girl, I'm about to give myself a treat, okay? Let's just try this lemon drop one and then I promise I'm done. Promise. This stuff is deadly, you guys. Like deadly delicious. Y'all gotta try this. Mmm. Oh, this lemon drop. Wow. Mmm. It's so good. This is crack. Crack, I tell ya. Go for to try this. You will not regret it, especially if you're following a low-carb diet and you miss, like, granola on top of your yogurt. Like, I can just picture this on top of some... Too good yogurt. Woo! Fire! So I'm having a little lunchy lunch and I just sauteing up some onions and zucchini and bell peppers here. And I have some leftover taco meat that I made with some low sodium taco seasoning. I'll have a recipe listed for low sodium taco seasoning down below. And then I'm just gonna add some of this rice cauliflower and I'm gonna top it with a little bit of cheese because that is what I'm feeling for lunch today. We are, we 
This has been like a hitter snack for me. All I did was dice up some cucumbers, some bell peppers, the red and yellow bell peppers, some jalapenos, and half of a pickle. And I just mix this all together and I'm gonna put some of it in a bowl. I'm not gonna eat this huge portion, but this is so good. And the jalapenos really help because they just, I don't know, they make me feel fuller. I got this idea actually from Michelle Meeker. I just think this is a great snack and it's going to really fill me up and it's nice and packed with vegetables, which is nice. Two hours later. I want a cracker. Bad. <laughs> I want something. I want a cracker. I want cake. I want some Ritz. So here we are. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> carbs. Carbs. No, like I'm like craving something really bad. I gotta get out of the kitchen. All right, I had a sugar-free popsicle all as well, but it is 8.45 and I'm going upstairs and getting out of my kitchen because I cannot even be around food. Like, the cravings are real right now and I don't even know why, so bye, see you tomorrow. Okay, you guys, so I am completed with this diet and I am so, so proud of myself for finishing it out really strong and I wanted to leave you guys with a couple of things. First, I lost a few pounds. When I first started this diet, I weighed 171 pounds. And as of this morning when I weighed myself, and I started on Monday, and today is Sunday when I'm filming this, so I originally planned to eat like this for only five days, like a business week of eating like JLo, and I did that, but then I felt so good by Friday that I decided to carry it out through the weekend. So I weighed myself this morning, and this is how much I weighed, you guys. Your girl lost freaking, what is that, eight pounds? Like, I know a lot of it is probably like water weight essentially because I did cut out like virtually all carbs minus like complex carbohydrates and I drank a ton of water. So my body was probably dehydrated because I probably was not drinking as much water as I needed to, but I am so, so happy. There's like, I don't really think I see much difference in my body, like physically, um, but I do feel like leaner in my stomach and overall I just feel like way better. Like the headaches completely went away by day five. I was pretty regular, like as far as like my digestion goes and everything like that. I felt like I had pretty good energy. Like today on Sunday, I feel like my energy is like 100% back. Like I didn't even think about coffee. And a good thing was is that like, I feel like I didn't have as many cravings as I did when I first started this and even still like my husband had a few french fries like with his dinner tonight and I took like one or two and that was it like I didn't really feel like I needed to like indulge or overindulge and I think that is something that's really good so honestly I feel like I'm gonna keep on this diet just for a little bit longer because I am in the midst of a diet bed challenge but I wanted to leave you guys with a few things so overall Jennifer Lopez follows a really clean diet no processed foods she focuses heavily on protein and like complex carbohydrates as well as starchy vegetables and legumes and she eats a lot of Puerto Rican food I am not Puerto Rican and I do not know how to cook Puerto Rican food so that is why I did not include any of that in this video but I focused a lot on healthy proteins like chicken fish um, ground turkey things like that 
lots of, so like no breads or rice or anything. I did buy some brown rice for this, but I didn't actually end up eating any. I ate a lot of cauliflower rice and I did eat sweet potatoes. I ate a lot of vegetables this week. I snacked a lot on carrots and celery sticks and cucumbers and bell peppers. And I had a lot of fresh fruit like berries. And I even had some grapes toward the end, which aren't like the best, but I did have them. And I would suggest sticking with berries because that's what she does. The hitter, my favorite part about this was probably my breakfast smoothie. That is something that I'm definitely going to be continuing in the future. And overall, I just really love this diet. So I hope that you guys like this video. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. I think that this was a really cool video and I was really inspired by reading up on her diet and like her lifestyle and I would love to be able to work out like her but I am just not there yet so I focused heavily on food but I'm so interested in this that I'm going to start studying other celebrities diets and let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in seeing that for me or if you have any recommendations on any other celebrities that you think I should study and try and eat like next so I'll catch you guys in the next one bye <music>